Hey, what's going on YouTube? UA Reviews here, and today I'm back again with my part two uh, collection video of all my Arkansas Razorback jerseys. I'm going to do uh, my newest collection, uh, my Nike Razorback game worn apparel uh, collection. So uh, if you want to see the uh, part one video, click the annotation on the screen now. Uh, but other than that, we're going to jump right in here. Uh, this is my first one I got. I got this about one year ago. And uh, this is Jericho Nelson's uh, jersey. He was a uh, outside linebacker. Uh, he's originally from Louisiana. Um, I believe you know he started a lot of games. Was a big playmaker on defense. One, of, he's probably one of my favorite players over the years to watch and kind of see him develop. And he now plays for um, uh, the New Orleans Saints as a safety. So uh, maybe you'll see him out there, number thirty-seven. But uh, he's number thirty-one back at Arkansas. A lot of use on this jersey. Uh, not 100% what um, game this might have been used in. There's some nice holes in the jersey all around it. So I mean it got some really good use. Um, I did pay like $125 for it. This is the one I paid the most for. And, uh, I knew it wouldn't be there long because he was a pretty popular player. So um, next up, I've got one that I got around last Christmas. Um, this is um, Jarrett Lake, I believe is his name. He's a, a linebacker, too. Uh, some good use on this jersey. Uh, he hadn't really played much over the years, but uh, he's maybe looking in the rotation this year. There is a lot of uh, use on this jersey, a lot of stitches where uh, it's been stitched up. Number 39. Obviously, none of mine have uh, the name plates on the back because uh, I buy these from, um, you know, from the University of Arkansas, and you know they can't sell uh, anything with the players' names on the back. So that's why none of mine have any of their names on the back. Um, this is either, I think he either plays guard or tackle. He's been sw switching around, but uh, this is Austin Beck's jersey, number sixty-eight. Um, Really nice lineman size jersey. This is a pretty long jersey. It's a size 48. One of my bigger ones. Um, pick this one up. I got this one just for $25. Uh, and there was a few others there I probably should have picked up at the time, but they don't no longer have the wide away game ones. But um, as you can kind of see, little strings there was the name was attached to the back. Uh, not This jersey doesn't really have any use at all, so... It's pretty clean. And then finally, this one was from 2012, just last year, um, with the uh, anthracite gray uh, jerseys that uh, Arkansas used in two games. They used them against Kentucky and Ole Miss. Uh, these are their alternate um, home jerseys. Like I said, they just used twice. I really like the uh, concept. Uh, I like the new changeup in the jerseys, but I'm not... I mean, I like the black jerseys for every now and then, but, you know, a lot of people were freaking out that they thought we were changing to, you know, this black color. It's not really black. It's just gray. So a lot of people just need to calm down about these jerseys. I really like them. Um, I do like the away and the home ones in the new style that they came, out, they came with. So hopefully they stick with that um, here for a while because it seems like every couple of years we change um, our the look of our jerseys. And it's just kind of... I wish we could have stuck with that a few more years, but, you know, because um, I thought that was a real traditional look, and that's what people want to go with is a traditional look, but, you know, this looks more modern. It appeals to our recruits, so, I mean, it's a cool I – li I like the concept of the jersey, and I'll give you some more details. Uh, this is uh, Travis Swanson. He's uh, going to be a, a returning senior this year, you know, plays center. A lot of good use on this jersey. He, had start, he has started for a couple years now. So uh, I was definitely excited when I saw this jersey and wanted to pick this one up because he's one of my favorite offensive linemen. I've been, been watching him over the years. So, And then what's really neat about these newer jerseys, they have their, uh, their little saying there, ring the bell on the collar of the jersey. And then there's the back. So that's all my uh, Nike game used jerseys and also have uh, these uh, pants. Uh, this is a um, red pair of their game pants. Um, Razorbacks no, don't normally wear red because I read somewhere like it's it's bad luck for the Razorbacks to wear red 
uh, wear red pants, but I've, I've seen them just wear these a few times. I bought these for like five dollars. So, I mean, they kind of go, they kind of go good with the road jerseys. And then this is uh, this white pair is a pair of practice pants that have uh, definitely seen some use. Uh, you can see the little black marks there from, you know, some overuse, but um, nice little hog and Nike logo there. And then it has number 56 scratch, scratched in there, or uh, it's sharpied on there. And then there on the name, it looks like that was blacked out by somebody. Um, but yeah, I don't think that guy's on the team no more. Number 56, can't even remember his name. But um, yeah, that's all my Nike stuff. And I'm going to show you guys just a few other things that I've also got that are uh, kind of related. All right, I got some other little fun things I wanted to show you guys. Um, so the story behind all this Adidas stuff is uh, when um, the seasons when they were switching from Adidas to Nike, uh, they started to sell all their old equipment, all these wristbands and all this stuff really cheap one time, and I was able to pick up quite a bit of this stuff. Um, I got some uh, Adidas forearm shivers, sleeves. These are pretty neat. I think I picked these up for like $2 maybe. <laughs> They're really neat. Um, cool to wear. Like, just for practice, even. I wore these a few times. Um, got some Adidas Lyman gloves. Pretty interesting. I've been just using these, uh, working out in the yard. Just uh, doing yard work and stuff. So, pretty neat. Uh, pretty decent Lyman gloves. I think I got these for like five bucks. So, um, pretty cool. Um, I got some uh, Adidas um, wristbands. Bicep bands, armbands, whatever Adidas calls them. But I've used these quite a bit, just either working out or just fooling around with them. And then uh, these were actually a dollar for both of these. And these were also a buck too, but as you can see, one dollar. These were Razorback issued. They were uh, in huge boxes uh, in like the Razorback shop. And um, people were going crazy over these. And I picked up a couple of them. I haven't even opened these, but uh, pretty cool stuff. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. And finally, I'll show you guys my helmet. My uh, 2012 um, wide helmet. Done quite a few modifications on it. Put an Under Armour visor on it. Got all the right decals on it, except the one here on the back to cover up the right L part. So, I'm still looking to get some 2012 memorabilia from the new Nike jerseys that they got. Hope to get those here real soon. Um, hope you guys have enjoyed this video. And... Uh, Go Hogs.